Alright uh, guys, so the recording cut out on me. And what you missed was they threw it to the end zone, but it was way overthrown and way out of the back of the end zone. And so we got a second and ten here for Idaho. They're still at the twenty. And they could still make this a game. Second and ten here for Idaho. Minute 40 to go. Ball at the 20. Going deep. Knocked away by Mullins. He had the pick six to seal the win last week on the road against Georgia State. He could have made the pick to seal the win here against Idaho. Instead, he merely deflects it and prevents a touchdown to set up a third and ten from the 20 here for Idaho. And the hand back to pass. Rolling out. Throws underneath. There's Penny. Nice tackle there by Antoine Madsen to stop Penny from getting the first down. Two catches, 11 yards for Penny. And it's fourth down and one from the 11. Madsen with five tackles on the day. Minutes to go. Penny is going to fall forward. It looked like they had him stop, but he shoved off a couple of defenders and picked up the first. Down to about a minute to go now is, I guess, the consolation for that. That if they don't, even if they score, if they don't get the onside kick, it's pretty much game over. But Linhan going to be sacked on first and goal. It's Antoine Madsen coming up with the big sack right up the middle. And Idaho will burn their first time out. So now they need the touchdown and the onside kick. Otherwise, they will lose. Linehan feeling the pressure, throws off his back foot, nearly was sacked for a second straight play. Instead he escaped and just chucked it off his back foot to more nose wear. Two of seven on third downs for Idaho. It's third and goal from the 15. The Vandals trying to make a last ditch rally, throws under the caught by Duckworth. He's got to gain a two knockdown and second timeout called by Idaho. Sets up a fourth and goal from the 13, and this is your ball game. If Idaho does not convert, it's game over. Even if they do convert, they'll still need a touchdown, or an onside kick, I mean. Throw short to Jermaine Johnson, and he was never near the end zone. Over 200 yards for Matt Linehan, but he threw short. And that's going to end this game. Oh, well, Iowa just needs to run out the rest of this clock. There goes the first time out for Idaho. Dwayne Sewell with his 10th tackle on that last play. Second down and three from the 15 here for Northern Iowa. 44 seconds to go. They've got the win, barn. they don't do something incredibly stupid, which you never know. Smith going to lose a yard there. Four catches, 19 yards for Tyvis Smith. Bailey, 19 of 29, 161 yards and a pick. Rock Westlake with his fifth tackle of the day right there. Five of 12 on third downs for Northern Iowa. It's third and four, and this could be the final play of the game. They're not seeing anyone open. He's just going to run. And they're going to knock him out of bounds after an 11-yard gain. 10 carries, 26 yards, and the score for Bailey. It's first down from the 25 for Northern Iowa. 18 first downs for the Panthers. 12 for Idaho. And I think Northern Iowa wants to try and get a score. Bailey's going to be sacked, lose 9, and we're down to pretty much a Hail Mary attempt. You know what, never mind. Mario means calls a timeout, but he changes his mind. Thinks better of it, and Bailey will just come out in the victory formation. That will end this game. Northern Iowa survives a late scare from Idaho. They take down the Vandals 19-7. to And they should take first place of, the, of their division here in the Sun Belts.
with one week left to play. So it'll be right down to the wire, but I think... I think this win sets up a win and in next week. Against what, UMass, I think? And so that should be a good game. Make sure to come on back for that next time. That'll do it for me this time. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.